happening. But what if those predicted downpours didn't only mean that you need to remember your umbrella? Because some people, as you well know, claim that the weather can affect their health in your hands, for example, if you have arthritis. Now researchers at the University of Manchester want to find out if they are correct. They're using a smartphone app to get people to record how they're feeling and linking it to local weather data. Jay McCubbin has been to find out more. Carolyn was diagnosed with arthritis aged just 18. It's horrible. It's horrible. Mm. And you think weather related? I think that the weather is related to an extent. But to what extent and why? She's taking part in a study to see if there really is a link between weather and pain. How are things? Not bad, thank you. Dr. Will Dixon is asking thousands of sufferers like Carolyn to provide data via their mobile phone. Crucially, it tells your pain. Um, pretty much moderate pain today. We're asking people to collect their symptoms every day and then the GPS from their phone automatically collects the weather data where they are and collectively that brings together a massive data set through time that we can analyse. If we understand the relationship between the weather and pain then absolutely then we hope that we'll be able to forecast pain. It's an age-old theory but no one really knows which weather prompts the worst symptoms or if there's any predictable pattern. High up on the roof of Manchester's Meteorological Observatory, there's a suspicion that atmospheric pressure is key. When low pressure hits, what you get is you get this area where you've got the, the cool air and the warm air interacting, which can lead to air being pushed up, but basically it upsets the weather. You know, it gets it. Upsets the weather, and for some people it upsets the joints. Indeed. <laughs> Almost every clinic that I run, one of my patients will tell me that their joints are better or perhaps worse because of the weather. Because of the weather. Do you think there could be a day when these pain forecasts are part of national news in the same way that the pollen count is? Well, we can only hope, probably. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many variables. There is, there. yeah. And what you would like yeah. is that bit of certainty to be able to predict. Definitely, because then we c I can change sort of my behaviour and activity and manage my life better. Jay McCubbin, BBC Northwest Tonight.